Hi guys, this is tutorial number one and more informational, uh, but it's probably a good place to start if you're about to use the Black Ops 3 mod tools. Uh, I don't know when they're going to be released at the moment, this is a video recorded well in advance of the release, but let's go over it now, I need to get a load of video tutorials done. The first thing you need to do is obviously download the tools, uh, I need to point a few things out here when you're downloading them. So you can go to tools, find Black Ops 3 mod tools which should be in your list somewhere down here install it when it is installed it's not installed you need to then right click properties go to DLC and install the additional assets it's not essential but if you want all the other assets that have been bundled in so far tick that there may end up being other ones as they release more assets uh, so tick that click OK it'll go away uh, depending on how good your internet is um, it's probably going to download another 40 gig or something the tools are large I would advise if you are installing these tools to put them onto an SSD drive uh, I currently have mine on a 256 gig SSD and that includes my game files as well I've probably got about 20 gig free on that disk uh, so if they had too many more assets it could be a problem but I'll worry about that later so once we've done that uh, we can launch the uh, mod tools uh, so when we launch them we'll get this view what you will see is maps and you will see MP Combine which is the multiplayer map uh, from the real game uh, you will also find uh, the zombie giant map which is there and you'll see a mods folder um, these are just mods I created you don't have to worry about them right now what I would next advise, rather than jumping into any map, trying to pull a thing, let's just go over what we can do first. So if we do new, you need to give your map a name. Now you can choose for your first quick map an MP mod level or a ZM mod level, so zombies or multiplayer. It doesn't really matter which one you choose. I'd probably say uh, if you want to see uh, more assets off the go, choose the ZM mod level. Mod level. Um, the syntax for ZM is like that. I don't know why I say Z, it's, uh, it's Z in, I don't know. So we could create a tutorial. I've already done this. So you create your tutorial map. Uh, if it's a multiplayer map, it's going to be MP. It will then create a load of files. I'll do this for MP because I haven't created an MP one. And here it will tell you the path of where it's created the files. I'm going to go into these in a second now. So I'm not even going into Radiant yet. What I am going to do is I'm going to go into uh, the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 folder where my game folders are and my mod file folders are. So in user maps, this is where all the maps start to exist. So if I find uh, ZM underscore tutorial 1, we will find uh, some essential files. So there is the zone source. Um, this is where you uh, would add any files that are relevant to the zone file. If you're unfamiliar with the zone file, I will go into this in greater detail later on. If you're familiar, it follows a similar syntax to what you would be used to in COD World at War or COD 4. Um, if we go back a folder, we then have the scripts. At the moment, there's not a lot in there, uh, but there is the basic information to actually play a level. And that's all you need to look at at the moment. Now, if you uh, wanted to add in other scripts that are not map specific, they would actually need to be located in your share folder, raw, and I would put them in scripts. So Nate Smith Zombies has given me some of his billables, and they're in this format over here. And I'll go over how you add these in in another video. Uh, we also have in these script folders various other script files that you could look into so if you want to see what they did with their giant map for example they're in there so they're good reference points but we're not going to cover that in this video uh, the other quick one I want to show you is uh, uh, sound assets so you've got sounds you need to put them in sound assets and if you want to tell your map to refer to those sound assets they're actually going to be back into share into raw into sound, into aliases, and there will be a user aliases CSV. Uh, now at the moment, uh, every map will look for the same file. It is possible to have individual files for each map. Again, I'll cover that off in another video, but 
at the moment I've got a load of sounds which all my maps read in generally because uh, it's fine I don't really mind at the moment I might slim that down later on right let's open the map up in Radiant so we find our tutorial map and we open the map in Radiant uh, if we give it a while to load uh, we can watch how much memory it's using like disk utilization whatever else it's only a small map but already the tools without anything really heavy going on it's blitzing my memory that'll probably settle down to about two gig to be honest it, it seems to bleed memory at the start um, if you've got less than eight gig you're probably going to struggle to use the tools if I'm honest uh, I struggle with eight 16 works well for me so you've got your basic map and your basic window views I'm not going to go into all the options in here at the moment uh, what I would say is it will probably say the Sun's not built now you could get it to build when you compile or you could do it now so if I choose high and click this Thunderbolt it will build the lighting so now we're getting shadows it will start processing a reflection probe which is over there as well then eventually it will be happy and we can then move on to trying to play the level so that's complete I'm going to close that down uh, I'm not going to export at this time but because I'm going to compile the map so what we'll do is we will set the map compiling and again I'm going to leave uh, my task manager running just so you get an idea of what actually happens when it's running uh, so the first thing is it will compile, so it will build the BSP file up. Uh, there are other things that go, in, go on in all these processes. I'm not going to go and detail them, but you can probably work it out if you look at the pane down here. So it will do its compile, it will then build its lighting, and then it will link. Now, what you will find is, once you've done the lighting, unless you're looking at lighting at every stage you only need to do the light as and when you've really adjusted lighting a lot so you could probably just compile it if you make a script change or you add a new sound asset you only need to link it um, but anything that you edit in the uh, radiant you must remember to compile it first and then do all the others uh, so away this is going um, it's still running uh, it does take a little while I'll say it's still running perhaps it's not because I'd already run this once before now this would probably take normally about two minutes uh, but I've actually already compiled this now I'm going to untick these and check run what I found if you tick all four it doesn't do run for some reason maybe they'll fix that by the time you guys get it who knows if I quickly jump back to my Call of Duty Black Ops folder I have different axes now I'm going to guess that probably by the time they release this properly we'll just have one executable so my actual live exe is this one but my mod tools exe is this file here so I end up having to rename the files you could script a batch file to do it or whatever let's run the map so away it goes we could all sing some music right now but I wouldn't recommend it and eventually it will fire up once it's thought about it. I do have a habit of running in window mode only because it makes it easy when I'm flicking between files and testing stuff. And when it hurries up uh, it never goes fast enough for me, that's for sure. So, that map that we have not really created, but with the uh, default templates created, is here. So it's fully playable. So, the perk machines, the packer punch, the power, they're all here. You've probably seen them in other videos. Uh, but this is the first step you should really make. I'm not going to play it. But there we go. So we're happy that the tools are working and it's launching the game. And really, that is the first part of the tutorial that you need to think about. So I'll recap a few things in my comments on the video. So we'll cancel that. It'll drop us back out. I'm going to quickly recap what we've talked about. Remember, when you download the tools, 
to download the DLC otherwise you're not going to have all the assets that are available to you uh, you can obviously you've got a space issue not download these but really you need to try and get all those bits downloaded as much as possible anyway you then should go into the Black Ops tool uh, launcher and create your first level and that's through new decide whether you're going to do a multiplayer level or a zombie level and put in the correct format if it's a zombie level it starts with ZM and then you have underscore then your map name if it's multiplayer it's MP underscore your map name uh, I'm not sure what the length limit is but I'll try and keep them relatively short after you're happy go in and edit your map check it loads up in the radiant okay uh, I went through and built the build and went to the build lighting through the lightning bolt you don't need to do that really but it's good if you're starting to work on a map you want to see how it's going to look at uh, real time you then should compile light and link your map again you do not have to do all the full lighting if it's if you've got a slow machine probably do it on low and your high should be when you do your final build you then want to run your map test it works okay in the tools now in the current tools we have to rename XE so we have the work in Black Ops 3 game XE which is if you're playing multiplayer or zombies with your friends then we have the mod tools version I'm going to guess that this is all going to become one XE and you guys won't have to worry about it but for now just in case you do you need to remember to rename it you then build your, build your map, jump into the game, test it works come back out, you can either quit or you can click cancel and it will crash the game out and there you've tested the fact that the tools work to a basic degree and this is the end of the first tutorial there are going to be other tutorials to follow and I will go over bigger aspects that we need to consider cheers guys bye for now